Hello. Welcome. What do we got here? We got Super Paper Mario for the Wii. The third game in the Paper Mario series. The first game to really change things up. And some people weren't cool with that. Uh, other people were. Personally, I think this, this was a, from what I remember, this was still a pretty great game. Like, it's, it's not my favorite out of the three, but I remember it being really cool. And the changes were, it was different, but it was still fun. So we're going to redo this, because I, I, this is another one of those Wii games, which I was only able to play through once. And then, it mysteriously vanished, so this will be... It'll be cool revisiting this. I remember having lots of like geometric shapes and stuff, but let's let's get started on here. Hey Maxi, Ducky, welcome. This will go perfectly alongside the renovation of my island. Yeah, this is a good thing to watch while you're doing other stuff. And look at this. You use a single Wii remote. I love games that do that because it's just this simplicity to it. It's kind of like playing an NES game. That sound effect right there was very Thousand Year Door. Uh, I'm pretty hyped for this. This is the first like RPG-esque type of game that I'm... I'm Playing, which means it's gonna have a lot of text and I'm gonna do my best to read it all um, but we'll see what happens tell you the story of the lost book of prophecies the prophetic book was a mysterious tome full of stories of future events so like Nostradamus of course many people crave this book wishing to glimpse into their futures but no person after obtaining this amazing book ever found happiness. The reason? The book held frightful secrets not meant for people's eyes. That book came to be called the Dark Pro Prognosticus and was sealed away. This is the tale of that forgotten book's last owner. It is a tale of love. Well, I, I don't mind reading. I like reading it. I just, I'm not going to do a bunch of crazy voices or anything because that'll get tiring after a while. What happened to me? Where am I? Blah. You're awake, princess. Okay. Is that Peach? Oh, I remember this dude. Look at that. Bowser trying to marry Peach. Where have we seen that before? Or later? Rather. Look. Before Mario Odyssey did it. Super Paper Mario is doing it. Count. Yeah. Um, okay. So preparations are complete. Shall be begun by Count Black. Yeah, this is the big baddie of this game. I completely forgot. Bowser ferocious and fearsome. Do you take Peach to be your lawfully wedded wife? Poor Bowser. I mean, poor Beach. Peach. God damn it. So why is this dude hooking up Bowser? What's in it for him? Do you take Bowser to be your lawfully wedded husband? Tell your games be over. I like that. Now just wait a second, how did... How did she get here? She just woke up and she was getting married. <laughs> yeah, I... I don't like what this insinuates. Like, did... Did Peach get roofied or something? Count here has been... Look, it's even he's a wedding planner, just like in Odyssey they had wedding planner. What the heck, man? 
Who picked out this dress? It's awful. I like how that's the thing she's most concerned about. So this is like his his right hand man, girl, lady, right hand woman. Oh, she doesn't want to marry Bowser. Do you sure are a fighter? But yeah, no one withstands my super hypnosis. Sorry. I do. Say it now, okay? Well, I guess she married Bowser. Hey, it's Luigi! What in the world? What am I doing here? That's a good question. Huh, is that Princess Peach over there? That guy is- hey! Wait a minute, that guy looks familiar. Whoa, what is that? There's a lot of this game I don't remember because it was so long ago and I only played through it once. Yes, precisely as written in the dark prognosticus. It's hard for a kid to pronounce. Already it is unleashed the chaos heart. It's a chaos emerald! The new villains, the Polygonians. And just who are you? Asked Count Black. Why did he do that in third person? Dude, look at Luigi! I don't give my name to scoundrels. Just watch as Lu- Okay, he, he gave his name away. Yeah, I'm gonna need you to stop right this second, okay? Dude, Luigi! Here's where Luigi rinse, rescues Princess Peach. Yeah. I have a feeling Luigi caused a big issue right now. But he was pretty brave, you gotta give him that. Luigi's really grown over the years. Alright, are you alright, Count? Fools, pointless acts like these will only earn you pain from Count Black. This game really hops into, like, the bad stuff happening. In the other Paper Mario games, there's, like, the opening is usually pretty peaceful. This means you may turn to a new page of Dark Prophecies. Open your mouth, darkness. Consume everything and destroy all worlds, as told in the prophecy. Black. I think in this game Luigi be uh Well we don't wanna we don't wanna do spoiler alerts, so let's let's uh keep that stuff to a minimum. But here we go, look at this. Super Paper Mario title screen, press two to start. So that was quite an opening. I gotta say, they got right into the bad stuff. Oh man. It's funny how the player one's yellow, usually that's... It's like red, blue, green, yellow or something. Like we're playing arcade. Okay, we're gonna... Go ahead and put the old name right here. Oh man, I'm hyped. <gasps> Look at that. It's Mario and Luigi's house with only Mario's name on the front because that's fair. At least the door is green. That must have been their little agreement. Wow, sure is peaceful today, eh bro? Makes a guy feel lucky having a peaceful day. Oh, look at the little portraits they have right there. On the right side, it's Mario's partners from the first Paper Mario. And then on the left, it's all Mario's partners from A uh, Thousand Year Door. That's really cool. I don't know if I noticed that back when I first played this. Yup, real peaceful. It's so peaceful, it's almost a little bit boring. Luigi, are you hiding something? It makes you just want to kablooey, you know, some kind of shocking event. Oh, Princess Peach's place, maybe? 
That'd be cool, huh, bro? Maybe we should go visit Mushroom Castle. Mushroom Castle? Was it- was- is that what it's usually called? It's been a while, uh, I'm sure the princess would be happy to see us. Hey, Kirill, welcome. <laughs> Mario, help! Oh, it's a toad. Toad! What happened? Why are you so crazy? <laughs> Why are you so crazy? It's shocking. Mushroom Castle raided. Princess Peach stolen. What? Why, that's ridiculous. Who in the world would do such a thing? Yeah, who would kidnap the princess? Yeah, it's the Mushroom Kingdom. I've never heard it referred to as the Mushroom Castle. Wait a second. Yeah, I think I've got it. Bro, this must be the work of that guy, that bad guy. I won't stand for this. We'll have to sneak into his castle and rescue Princess Peach. Let's go, bro. Why is Luigi so brave in this? That's so weird. Usually you'd think of Luigi being more cowardly. But maybe his adventures uh, rescuing Princess Eclair and Thousand Year Door made him more brave. This version of Luigi. We're counting on you, Mario. Bros. Something suspicious, Jay. It is suspicious, but... I don't know. He is braver in Paper Mario, that's true. Like, in general. Just like how Bowser is kind of, like, goofier in, uh, Paper Mario. I mean, he's still kind of goofy, but in this one, he's like... He's probably the funniest character. Listen well, my elite minion task force. It's time to initiate my awesome plot to invade Mushroom Castle. Today is the day that I make my beloved Princess Peach all mine. And if that weren't awesome enough, I'll also stomp her little mustache buddies. <laughs> They're all cheering. Well, at least he has, you know, loyal minions. Your rudeness. It's our turn. We're gonna take the Mushroom Kingdom back. Ah, uh, we're under attack. You jokers are the best. Wait, what? Hey, who are those hairy guys in the back? We shave around here, minions. Oh, it's Mario and Luigi. Mario and Luigi? How do you get in here? What? My front gate was open. How many times have I told these idiots if you're gonna, if you're the last in, lock the gate? I know exactly how that issue goes. I always imagine Bowser is being Meatloaf. <laughs> that's funny. Well, Paper Mario series is like an alternate universe. Yeah, that's true. Quiet, you big Bowser. We know you kidnapped Princess Peach. Now, where'd you put her? Luigi's doing all the talking. Where'd I? Wait, what? We were just about to launch her attack. Mario, help! Another toad or something? Nope! Floating Princess Peach from the, the, the Phantom Zone. Look at that. It's Count Black. Your princess has been taken by Count Black. Wait, by who? Who? By me, Count Black. The chosen executor of the Dark Prognosticus is Count Black. The fine fellow prophesied to come to this dimension is also Count Black. I'll tell you who doesn't make even a little bit of sense, Count Black. Enough, release Princess Peach right now, I'm on a schedule over here. See, Bowser was plotting to kidnap her and then this dude comes in. Count Black says never, this princess is integral to fulfilling the prophecies, as she always seems to be. She will be brought to Castle Black and used to destroy all worlds by Count Black. Destroy all worlds? Dude, it's the plot to Super, uh, Dragon Ball Super. Hey, Zop. BDQ. I want to buy a retro Nintendo console in the future. Super Nintendo or N64? Hmm, that really depends on what you want to be playing. Like, Super Nintendo is probably... 
my favorite of the two, but I still like N64 a lot, so it's kind of a hard choice. Like, if you want to play more, like, 3D games, then probably N64. Big bro. This man deserves ridicule. Weaklings cannot face Count Black. Hey, here's a thought. You calm down. Calm down and free the princess, or else. I thought he was going to say, come down here. Your princess shall not be returned by Count Black. Count Black is, is very third person -y, isn't he? Uh, Bowser, evil king of the Koopas. Count Black will take you too. Ha ha ha, Black. If you replace these characters but with Sonic characters, it basically Sonic Mania with the hard-boiled heavies. Really? That's funny. Complex preparations are now in order. All that remains is for the dimensional void to appear as foretold in the prophecy. Black. <laughs> Black. Christmas Elf says they would prefer the N64 out of the two. It's definitely a tough choice. They're both very good consoles with good games on them. Oreo. M Mario. Ooh, what's that? It's Navi. Are you awake? My name's uh, Tippy. I am what is known as a pixel, a sort of fairy. Mario, I came to find you. <laughs> Mario's like, oh, you're trying to fight, huh? I am no enemy. You met Count Black, and he captured a princess and an evil king. Is this not so? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're right. Then that means Count Black is uh, even now beginning to form the void. We haven't much time. You must come with me. Yes, if your friends are to be saved, you must come. Let us go. We're gonna like, travel dimensions, yep. Uh, if you don't like RPGs, don't pick the N64. That's true. The Super Nintendo has a lot more RPG stuff. Because I guess the RPGs kind of moved to the PS1 once that came out. Oh, well, back so soon, Tippy. And who might this be? Red shirt, blue overalls, and a magnificent mustache. Tippy, you've truly outdone yourself. He matches the description of the hero in the light of Prognosticus perfectly. And his name is Mario. Yep. I welcome you, Mario. This is the town of Flipside. That's right. So the main town in, in this game is called Flipside. You've come far from your mushroom kingdom of your dimension. Of course, our fair Flipside is in no dimension at all. No, it's between dimensions. My name Merlin. I am an, a descendant of the ancients who created this town. I busy myself studying musty ancient texts to forestall the end of all worlds. Huh. Uh, you want to know what the end of all worlds? What happens, you ask? So Tippy was not yet told, uh, I gather. Or she hasn't told you yet. Well then, Mario, the answer hangs above you. Do you see the gathering of darkness in the sky? It is a hole in the very dimensional fabric of space, such a strange phenomenon. Is it near or far? None know. It may appear small for now, but it will only grow. And in the end it will swallow all existence, all worlds, all dimensions. Hey James Bond, welcome. Uh, this void was created by our enemy Count Black, who wields the dark prog prognosticus. A fair and lovely princess, a furious monster king. The union of these two will call forth the chaos heart, the consumer of worlds. So Peach marrying Bowser, like, the, the completely last thing you would expect to ever happen has caused a rip in the fabric of space and time and it's going to consume all worlds. Isn't that nice? And the Chaos Heart will ravage the sky and so bring forth the Void. 
Yes, the passage Tippy just quoted is from the light of Prognosticus of my ancestors. The book also says this, the void will swallow all. Not can stop it unless the one protected by the dark power is destroyed. The hero with the power of eight pure hearts will rise to this task, so it is written. That that reminds me of eight hearts from uh, No More Heroes, Travis Tricks again. Look at that. So instead of stars, it looks like we're collecting eight pure hearts. This is one of the eight pure hearts. You're surely the hero spoken of in the pages of the Light Prognosticus. You're the only one who can defeat Count Black and save all worlds. Mario, take this and save all worlds from destruction. Nah. Nah. So I remember uh, seeing a video of this. If you tell him no, you're not going to do it, you actually get a game over. <laughs> He's like, well, then the world is is doomed. So I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna accept his uh, his quest here. Excellent, you truly are the hero of Book of Legend. My eyes never deceive. So, um, Mario, our brave hero, take this, and then he blasts Mario. <laughs> take this, Mario. You got a pure heart. The pure heart has been thrust into your possession. Now, great hero Mario, your first task awaits. You must take this pure heart. You must place it in the heart pillar in this town. Tippy will lead you there. Return to me when you're through with this task. All right, this way. Finally, we are controlling the game. Excuse me, I had to sneeze. I muted myself. Okay. Here we go. Look at this. So if you notice, big difference already that I wasn't thinking about between the older Paper Mario's and this one. Look, 2D. No moving up and down. 2D. For the most part, you'll see later. And you can talk to people with the D-pad. We got 10 health, we got, a, we got a score, we got coins. Um, yeah, you could always try to be James Bond. I think James Bond might just be a code name. Press it, please. Why is she so like impatient with me? This one is completely 2D. Most of the base gameplay is 2D, but uh, you'll see later that there's some differences. Older, were there other Paper Marios except the one in N64? Uh, no, I was mainly just talking about the N64 one and the Thousand Year Door for the GameCube. Although Super Mario RPG for the uh, Super Nintendo is kind of considered a predecessor, in a way, to Paper Mario, so... Could kind of count those. Lex, good old save block. So, this was the first game that like radically changed how Paper Mario games are played. And I kind of already said that earlier, but like a lot of people weren't down with that. This one I thought was still fun. There was a couple other like handheld ones that, that didn't quite look as interesting to me, and I've heard things about them. One of the things that's really weird is apparently the other Paper Mario games, you don't get partners at all. The partners in this game are, are pretty different, but you still find partners. But the fact that you don't even get partners in the other game is kind of weird to me. Like, I feel like you should always have- like I should probably just follow the uh, tippy for now and then I'll, I'll explore a bit more later. This town's so peaceful. If you ask me, that's all you can really ask out of life. Uh, I completed this game but I won't spoil. Yeah, I played this game once a long time ago, probably around the time it came out and I haven't played it again. 
because the game went missing. The heart pillar is this way. So I, I've been looking forward to playing this because I remember enjoying it a lot, but I don't remember a lot about it. You know, hey, you knows anything about that weird black stuff in the sky? It looks kind of scary, but I don't knows what it is. Oh, it's a little kid. I was giving him like a, I don't know, a ruffian accent. I still need to finish my run on Paper Mario, but alas, Final Fantasy VII is taking my time. Here we go. So we have to... We gotta put the heart in here. The, the art in this game does seem to have taken a more simplistic style. With a lot of like the geometric shapes and the uh, heavily like more 2D, but it's still nice though. It still it still looks pretty clean. I think the N64 Paper Mario game will always be my favorite though. Well done. Now let's return to Merlin, cause the uh, Thousand Year Door refined the gameplay and everything that it's probably like the best in that regard but paper mario for n64 just like has so much charm to it and there's just like i don't know the characters and the town and the music and everything i think it's just my favorite because all of those things are just really really nice all right good idea Even like the character models in this N64 one, they're just a bit like more cartoony and cuter and stuff. They look, they, I don't know. This is really, really good. But I, I like all three of the, the first three games. Uh, the two of you return. Look, a door has appeared. This dimensional door was made to lead the hero to another pure heart. Yes, somewhere beyond this door lies one of the seven other pure hearts. Tippy, you must use your power to help Mario find his pure heart and return here. Of course. And Mario, I have something to give you that will aid you on your journey. A warp pipe? You got a return pipe, a magic pipe that returns you to flip side from afar. That's a useful item. With this, you'll be able to return to flip side from anywhere in the universe. Use it whenever you feel you must return in a hurry. To use your return pipe, just go to important things on the menu screen. Just remember that in some areas the signal from flip side might not reach. Ooh. The light prog prognosticus foretells that the hero will meet a dimensional governor. And from him the hero will learn the dimensional technique. I'm almost certain this refers to my friend the flip wizard Bestavis. Bestavius? Bestavius. So go now through this door and seek out Bestavius. Gotcha. Well, let's get going. Yeah, so you get the idea. We'll, we'll go in here. We'll, we need to find another heart. And then each heart we find will keep unlocking more doors. And hopefully we can do that in time before the, the dark hole in the sky consumes us all. So here we go. You guys ready? Chapter one, here we go. Ooh. Looks like the bad guy's lair. The void has been ripped in the dimensional fabric. Yes, Count Black is pleased. All has gone as foretold in the dark prognosticus. Now it's just a matter of time until all worlds meet their demise. Wow, that's just super count. Yeah, first you'll erase all these naughty worlds. And then you're gonna build up a perfect world without war and all that other icky stuff. So now it's basically the plot of, uh, Endgame. Or Infinity War or whatever. <laughs> yes, yes, no one likes the icky stuff. Yep, a perfect world. Sounds magical. Haha, <laughs> I can hardly stand the wait. Sorry, I'm late. Wait, what? 
What in blazing bog rats? How'd I beat myself here? What's going on? Me, me, me. Oh, chunks, you big silly. Did you oversleep or something? I guess it's kind of hard to be on time, though, when you've got muscles instead of brains. Hey, you can't fool me with that crazy shape-shifting... Oh, it's Mimi. Show a little respect for the Count. You can't go a bar in its face, lass. Okay, Mimi, almost as dapper as Count Black. Golly, thanks, Count. With you around, it's nothing but big old smiles all the time. Hanging out with the Count, that's my idea of a perfect world. And here I thought Mimi's ideal world was a gem-filled pool with funky lifeguards. Hey, Dementio, have you been reading my diary? Uh, never mind. Alright, different strokes for different minions. After these rotten worlds are ended, Count Black will make all your dreams come true. But for that to happen, we must follow the instructions of the Dark Prognosticus. This is quite a long opening. Yeah, about that, just an FYI, I've got an urgent memo for your inbox. Apparently there's been some unapproved interdimensional activity lately, yeah. He, she talks like the guy from Office Space, who's like, Yeah, I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to use your... your uh, What does he say? Like, oh, I'm gonna have to need that... I'm gonna need that report by uh, two. I'm gonna have to need that report... You know, if you've ever seen the movie Office Space, what I'm talking about. I'm thinking it's the Hero of Prophecy. We're gonna need an action plan for this guy. Dimensional interloper and possibly the hero. You are you sure of it, Nastasia? Interesting, mused Count Black. We must put an end to this nuisance. It's weird that he he reads his own lines as if he's in a story, which I guess he is technically. It is kind of like Majora's Mask. You're right. It, it's like a bunch of different things in one. Let me get this right in the brain. The heroes Nastasia's going on about, he's your enemy. Then you gotta cut me loose on him. You gotta. I'll give him a nice taste of O-Chunks. Very well, O-Chunks. I'll leave the hero chunking to you. Do not fail, Count Black. You can count on me, Count. I'll rain down like a fat thunderstorm, I swear it. Mimi, Dementia. You should tag along. You could witness a proper chunkin'. Mm, I do enjoy a good chunking. <laughs> well, then I believe I'll head out as well. So I like that they're not showing us what Mimi looks like yet. Like she keeps shape shifting into different forms. Mario was called upon once again to save the world, no small task. Could he prevent Count Black from pulling off his sinister plot? Would Mario reunite with Princess Peach? A truly interdimensional adventure was about to begin. Here we go, finally. Chapter 1-1. The Adventure Unfolds. Here we go. We're finally starting. Chapter one. I feel the pure heart, but it's still far from here. Merlin told us to find his friend Bestavius to learn that dimensional technique. We'd better go find him. One more thing. If you want to learn about anything, just use my power. I know about many things. Simply point your Wii Remote at the screen and Tippy will fo focus on where you point. So this is the little the Wii gimmick that they added in. Then just press A over anything framed in red to hear more about it. So Tippy, as the name would suggest, is your your uh, Goombario or your, your Goombella in this game. So check this out. Look. Point it yourself and I will give you advice on what you need to do next. Right, the first thing we should do is find Bistavius and learn how to flip. So look at that, it's pretty cool, huh? 
So unfortunately this means like if you wanted to play this game, it's not one that would be easily emulated. You would probably have to play it on the original hardware. Or you would have to find a way to use, connect a Wii Remote. So look at this, an enemy. Boom. That is how the gameplay works in this game. So I know a lot of people, a lot of people were not happy about that because it completely changed what the original, how the original Mario, uh, Paper Mario games worked. And I can understand that, especially people who are really into like turn-based stuff. But it it's it's just a different game. And there's still elements about this that are really so. Look, at, there's like a lot more like platforming type situations. We can't go through that door yet. Oh, we can go down here. You know, emulators can emulate the Wii Remote with a mouse. Really? I didn't know that. Well, that probably only works with certain uh, games, right? It would probably work with this one, though. But uh, certain games... If you're only using like an X and Y axis, I can see the mouse working, but if you were... If you needed a Z axis, that would probably be an issue. Okay, so this is just Super Mario in paper style. It, it's not just that, because... Because you, you still collect... Whoops. Uh, quick... Okay, got it. Because like you level up... And your attack gets higher, and you get items, and uh, like a shroom shake, I can use at any point. Oh, look, it cures poison and it heals. That's good. All right. Wait, so there's no turn-based combat at all? Must be why I don't know about this game. Yeah, this it, it's it's very different. It, it's definitely its own game. I I think that's why Super Paper Mario is a good name because it is kind of like a combination of a Super Mario like game and Paper Mario. This is not an empty house. There's something in this room. I can feel it. I can help you find hidden things. Why don't you use my power to look around? All right, so. We can... Ooh, look at that. There's a door hidden here. Let me make it visible for you. It's a door, let's go inside. So that's good. So she, she's good for giving tips and she can find hidden things. That's like a double right there. Hmm. What is this meager mustache that stands before me. You can't call me a meager mustache. And how does it have the audacity to address my multicolored glory? How did these flimsy whiskers detect my secret door? Dude, can you like cool it with the mustache insults? Way right there. Red shirt, conspicuous white gloves, jaunty cap. Huh. You're garbed in the rich cloth of the hero of prophecy. You must be the great Hero! Impersonator! What? What a costume! You look like you leaped out of the pages of the Prognosticus. This is Mario. He's dressed like this because he is the hero. Merlin told us to find you. Merlin? Only his full-bodied beer rivals my hairy magnific <laughs> magnif magnificent. Jesus. Can't talk. If Merlin thinks you are the true hero, you probably are, I think. Well then, as the ancient prophecy foretells, I, Bestavius, will bestow upon you the ancient secrets of dimensional flipping. For a nominal fee of 10,000 coins. Oh boy. Here we go. There's always a catch. But that's preposterous. You can't charge to teach the hero of the prophecy. Why not? Even the great and splendiferous Bestavius has certain expenditures. Why should the hero get the world delivered to him on a well-garnished platter? 
These heroes think they can get away with shaking people down for free skills. A mere 10,000 coins should be nothing for a hero of the universe. What do you say? No, I don't have 10,000 coins, are you kidding me? So be it, I will settle for just taking all the coins in your pocket. What the heck? No, those are my coins. Still you refuse? So be it, though it makes me ill, I will waive the nominal fee and teach you for free. I think he was really gonna take the coins out of my pockets too. Do you agree to this? Well, yeah. Why would I not agree to that? Scintillating, let us begin. What if I kept saying no? Flimity, flamity, fluidy, babity, scoobity, scooby doo. Shaboom. <laughs> Flapow. Here we go. I, Bestavius, have granted you the ability to flip between dimensions. Press A to slip between the very fabric of space and flip between 2D and 3D. Well, what do you think? Mind blowing, isn't it? What is the A I speak of? I assure you that if we are being watched from another dimension, those beings will understand, but you you lack the mustache for full comprehension. Just remember that you can use this ability to find hidden items and secret paths. But beware, use your new ability too long and you will lose HP. Okay, that's good to know. Well, why don't we use it in here, guys? Press A. And look at that, boom. We are in 3D. While you're flipping, the flip gauges in the upper left corner will drop. If your flip gauge runs out, you'll start to take damage. Ooh, Shell Shock rams into enemies when you kick the shell. So look at this. The game does have three dimensions, it's just... So you could find hidden things, it's pretty cool. You get the best of both worlds. Look at that. Fire Burst, broils enemies with searing flames. Not bad, right? You do have a time limit though, but that's fine. You know, at least when like it's 2D most of the time, it, it means it's harder to get lost. Oop, look at that. <gasps> what is that? These are pal pills. Little pals will follow you around. Oh, I forgot about that. Look at this. Look at it. I got a bunch of little Marios with me now. Wait, was that a cliff? Oh, okay. Whoops. I hope I don't lose my little buddies. Oh, they're with me. Now, if they fall down that hole, they will be gone. <laughs> so I gotta be really careful. Oh, we lost a couple. It's bound to happen. And look at this. Oh, there was even coins over there. In fact, I could have just flipped it. This right here. And there's two different pipes. I wonder what's in the other one. Or maybe they both lead to the same place. That would actually make more sense. Alright, I'm, I'm learning here. It's been a while since I played this. So here it looks like there's a hole, but there's secretly... another dimension. And then, now we can go through this door. Defeat enemies to earn points. When you earn enough points, you'll level up and increase your HP and attack power. Press plus to go to the menu and see how many points you need. How many points do I need? Uh... Oh, 7,500 points more. What do these items do? Oh, you just like activate them on the to go. 
That's cool. But here. Alright. Oh boy, here we go. It's hard to, like, save these guys. Whoa! But they protect me too, though. Oh, look at... Kind of makes you paranoid, like you want to check everything, but, uh... Okay. So about up here, there was... This. What is this? A card? You got a Goomba card. If you collect an enemy's catch card, you boost the damage you do to it. Oh, the catch cards! The more cards, the better. You can boost your power by double, triple, or more. Forgot about those. Whoops. Can we go down these? Wait, did I find something? I heard like a noise. It's just to get over this. Oh, there's like equations in the background. Look at that. I have one guy left. One little, little Mario buddy. This happy flower. For a little while, flowers with coins will rain down. Ooh. If you go 3D, do you still see them? Oh yeah, you do, they're just harder to get. I know we're gonna wanna have coins for later, so... Probably get to collect these while we can. Can't make a jump? Wait a minute. How are we supposed to get over there? Oh, the hill! Look at that. It looks like it's just a background thing, but when you make it 3D, you can actually go around it. And look, you can avoid some enemies. But we should start killing more though, to get our uh, XP up and level up. It's interesting how this game goes with a score, instead of like just a uh, XP, and then there's one in this dimension. I kind of want to use one of these items just to see what it looks like. I'll, I'll save it for when there's more uh, enemies on the screen. Alright. This is a, like a starting area, so there's not like a whole lot going on. It's still kind of getting you used to everything. Oh, you know what I could be doing though? I could be pointing at the at the enemies and maybe learning something about them. Like, look at this. It's a sprung oing. For some reason, this creature lives to hop endlessly. Max HP is four and attack is one. If you hurt it, it will split into many mini sprungs. I wonder if breaking up is hard to do even for these creatures. But if you can do enough damage in one hit, then you can beat them before they split. See, that's a good tip. I wanted to know- whoa. Boing, boing. What's the sign gotta say? Oh. G'day, mates. Eli, that, uh, I love doing arts, uh, especially Mario characters. That's cool. Well, would you like to call? Would you like me to call you by Ricks or Eli? Because I can do either one of those. You know, sometimes it's, there's different names. Whoa! I took some damage. Whoa! There's a fire truck outside, or an ambulance, or something. One of those.
Boing. Oh, lord. That's a lot of... Ooh, we leveled up. Did you see that? Our HP went up. Yeah, we gotta... We gotta get all this XP. That's too much XP. Oh, you know what? Oh, you know what I should've did? I should use that item. So I could test it out. Alrighty. Fire burst. Here we go. Dude! Oh, I burned all of them up. I don't know how I took damage, but okay. A horse tail. It restores 7 HP and cures poison. Nice. The thing is, if you destroy, like, one of these... Now they're all gone. So it's like you're destroying three levels of blocks in one hit sometimes. It's kind of mind-blowing, really. This game looks good. Oh, it's so good. It's fun. It's pretty fun. I gotta say. I wonder if you could do that trick with the shell. Where you, like, can get infinite one-ups. I never really figured out how to do that myself anyways, but... Whoa! I'm glad I did not play this game. I wouldn't have liked it. Yeah, it, it's it's not for everyone, understandably. What what was that noise? I feel like there's something I'm missing. You know, like if someone just wants to play like a turn-based. This isn't the notorious piranha plant. It is a monstrous flower that lives in pipes. Max HP is two and attack is one. This strange weed will stay low if you cozy up to the side of its pipe. You're right. <gasps> star! Whoops. Get the star. This is a mega star. Use it to grow to mega proportions and trample your enemies. Oh boy, here we go. Do, 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 do. We're gonna destroy everything in our path. <laughs> Look at this. This is amazing. <gasps> Star? What's that all about? Oh, end of the chapter. Okay, that's right, because the, the chapters are split up into smaller segments. That wasn't the end of chapter one, it was the end of like chapter one one, if that makes sense. Which is also kind of similar to the old Mario Bros. And so Mario came to learn the stupendous ability of flipping between dimensions. But there was no time to celebrate. Mario still had a pure heart to find. The trail ahead was uh, overrun with savage beasts. Follow me, Tippy said, as she flew toward the mountain that loomed ahead. Uh, the pure heart was hidden somewhere on the other side. Can you switch to 3D in huge mode? Oh, uh, I think you can. I should try that next time that happens. A foot in the foothills. I feel that the pure heart is beyond this mountain, but it's still far, far away. Something tells me you'll need to put that new skill of yours to use. Alright, here we go. We're in some mountains now. Look at that, all these extra blocks we would have missed. Not that there's anything in them. Oh, 
Whoa, that guy almost got me. What is that? I, I swear I, I keep missing something. Is there a way to look at the catch cards, by the way? Oh, here we go. Goomba. This lowly goon is always getting stepped on. It isn't easy being a soft, mushroomy minion. Poor Goomba. Look at all these catch cards we have to collect. Whoops. I should have pointed these guys. This is a Koopa Troopa. It may be slow, but it is well defended inside its shell. If you leap on it, it'll pull its head and, limp, uh, and limbs in. You can kick, then kick the shell. From what I hear, Goombas have a long-held fear of Koopa Troopas. Really? But they work together. That's interesting. Ooh. Now we're having some fun here. Wow. Alright, what's going on over here? Look at that. Secret button. I knew it. Yeah, because you can't get to it normally. that block down there though. It was just a coin. that appear, right? Nope. Okay, we just jump up on those then. <laughs> Whatever works. Whoops. Alright. Tripper. Whoa, what was that? Oh, let's point at these guys. This spiny tromp loves to roll down hills and over unlucky pedestrians. You can't beat it, you can only avoid it. It rolls down the hill fast, but I know Mario can find a way to avoid it. Let me guess. Aha, look at that. See? See, normally they're like, oh, they're so big and intimidating, what am I gonna do? But, that's all you gotta do. And there's smaller ones you can jump over. Red bit bridge. Why did I say red? Bridge closed. Red the bridge master. Anything over here? Catch cards. Just more stuff. This is the classic go into the background pipe in all the Paper Mario games. At least in all the ones I've played. What the heck? Look guys, there's a glitch. There's just sweat in the air. What's going on here? It won't budge. <gasps> Look at that. Hey, hey, you can see me. 
This is unbelievable. I've been freaking out here for days and finally someone sees me. A couple mornings ago, I rolled out of the wrong side of the bed. And once I get my coffee, I realize I'm stuck in some freaky parallel dimension. I've been hollering and flailing for days, but nobody could hear me or even see me. Just when I was starting to think I'd be here forever, I see you. You just blipped in here out of thin air. I was thinking, if you can do that, maybe I can hitch a ride back with you? Just stand next to me and flip back to 2D, I'll hold on. Look, we saved him. That'd be horrible, you just wake up and you're stuck in between dimensions. We did it, I'm back to normal. Listen, you really bailed me out of there. That 3D business was freaking me out. The name's Red, nice to meet you. Say, so, uh, any way I can repay you? Actually, there's one thing, there's a huge chasm outside of, uh, chasm. Outside of, outside that we need to cross. So you want to cross the chasm, huh? Well, you found yourself the right guy. But hey, I've got to warn you, you know this place is called an impasse pass. Impasse pass, right? I'm only allowed to let a choice few cross the bridge. It's in the job description. I mean, that's why they pay me to stand there. You sure you want to pass? Yep. Yeah, well, you did save me from being trapped in a parallel dimension and all. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. Get the right answer and I'll let you pass. Okay guys, quiz time. Sound good? Here we go. What's the most manly color in the entire universe? Red or green? Oh man. Most manly color. Well, it's gotta be green, right guys? I mean, come on. All right, he's Mr. Red, we're gonna go red. Yes, you are so right. I knew it. You and me, we see eye to eye on fashion. I'll throw the bridge down, hang on a sec. Watch out for those boss winkers later. So you played uh, Ty the Tasmanian Tiger? I think I played one of the Ty the, the Tasmanian Tiger games like a long time ago for the GameCube. Luigi is the most manly color. Hey, Rag. Welcome. Uh, Luigi is pretty manly. You're right. All right, you should uh, be good to go. So take her easy. There we go. We got the bridge open. See, sometimes you got to tell people what they want to hear. You know. Even if it's not true, sometimes you just got to say it. Here. Hey stranger, where'd you blow in from? So this is like a new town. I'm gonna sound weird if I'm wrong here, but are you the legendary hero? You are? Okay. I've got three pointers I'm supposed to pass down to you. Ready? One, in trouble, flip. Two, something suspicious, flip. Three, feeling saucy, flip. And there you go. Now you know. Yeah, I guess that's... That's uh, good advice. Oh, here's our like our first store. So we already have the fire thing. Let's see. Uh, we offer shop here for regular customers. It's basically like the other Paper Mario games, it seems like. Yeah, if you get enough points, you get free stuff. Okay, so you buy things a bit differently. Ooh, a life shroom. Life shrooms are just like the best things in the, in the uh, almost said Sonic, in the Paper Mario games. This doubles your attack, reduces damage you take by half. Volt shroom, there's some good stuff here. A fungal drink that regenerates your HP over time. Definitely some good stuff. Nothing I really need yet. Uh, hmm. 
This one's pretty cheap. I'll just... I don't know, because I don't want to run out of space if I keep picking up other items. I'm just going to leave these here for now, and if I need something later, I can always come back. I always greet everyone I pass in the street by asking them if they're a legendary hero. It's bound to occur eventually. Yeah, I mean, the laws of averages or whatever. What's in here? Coffee shop? Thousands of years ago, a super advanced civilization lived in this area. We called them the Tribe of Ancients. I guess they built this town too. The mayor says there are secret tunnels and rooms in this town that they built. Look around real closely. You never know when there's a secret right around the corner. So these guys are like mainly giving you hints and stuff. They're not really uh, doing much else. Let's see. I just heard this juicy rumor. Apparently the hero knows a secret dimensional technique. Yeah, he uses it to flip to another dimension and find loads of interesting things. These blocks on my right might not look like... Yeah, she's going to tell me that there's a pipe back there, probably. Oh, and if you see coins, yeah. We got it. Okay. They're all basically telling me to flip a lot. Yep. There's the pipe. I love the POW item, quite useful. Yeah, the POW block is pretty good. So she gave me a, a tip right here where I could grab these coins right now. But if I flip like this, the co you know, I get three times as many. Because if you pick up one coin on the same plane, then the other coins that would have been there also vanish. So that's a pretty good tip. Firepower is good too, burning foes as well. Yeah, it seems like there's a lot of cool items in this game. What's going on in here? Someone hiding? Another pipe hiding. There really are, like, pipes all over this town that nobody can get to because they're in a different dimension. Oh no, what will I do? This ability just makes Mario really overpowered. Oh. I know. You got a point. There we go. You gotta remember that if there's... You know. Seems like there should be something somewhere, but then there's nothing. Give it a good old point. And there might be an invisible... Something in the background. This is cheats, says Christmas Elf. Sweet freedom! Oh! Instinctively, I thought it was going to be the cursed chest from Thousand Year Door. I thought I was about to get cursed right now. Wait a moment. If, uh, if I have been set free, the legendary hero must have done it. I expressed concern when the ancient stuffed me in that chest 1500 years ago. But it seemed my fears were quite unfounded. The hero has finally arrived. Are you a pixel? Why yes, I am indeed a pixel. My name is Thoreau. You are a pixel as well? But you don't look familiar. Are you a newer model? I, well, uh, um... No matter, detail, details do bore me. What is important is the fact that I have waited ages to lend my skill to the hero. And glorious day, here you are. Do take me with you, you simply must. You will then smash him. Well, it looks like we found our first, well technically second partner. The throwing pixel Thoreau has joined you. Use him to pick up and throw objects and enemies. You can even throw while you jump. Uh, so this is the Mario game where Mario becomes Deadpool and realizes he's in a game and just exploits mechanics 24-7. It seems that way. With me at your side, one uh, may grasp objects with great vigor. Simply press 1 to use my throwing ability. What's this 1 you say? You need not worry, the great being that watches us will know what it is. Well there you go, there's the, the third wall breaking. 
Just remember that I can grasp objects and enemies and hurl them with gusto. Grab something with one and press one again to throw it. Why not take a moment to get acquainted with my useful talent? Alright, here we go. So as you can see, now we can do this. Ah. Aha. Super Paper Mario has interesting characters in it more than the first. Well, it's it's arguable cuz cuz I like the Paper Mario for N64 is probably still my favorite. It it, it might just be I don't know. It, it, it's really charming. Glorious day. Consider me fully at your disposal now to adventure and beyond. But I do like the characters in this game too. I mean, well actually I, I, I haven't played this in so long. I don't really remember a lot about it. So I shouldn't say that until I've played more probably. Yeah, it's crazy, because this game came out in 2007, and it's probably around the time that I played it last, so it's it's been a while. I like Count Black in this game, very acceptable. My favorite partner is Vivian from Thousand Year Door, but I never got around to replaying this game, so I forgot most of the partners. Yeah. The partners in this game are very different because instead of like Mario enemies, they're they're just like these like fairies. So they're they're kinda different, but they're still cool. Vivian is a good partner from Thousand Year Door, I agree. Who's it? I'm the elder around here, so watch it. It's like a rule, every first chapter in Paper Mario games has, has to have an old village leader. What do you want? Get off my rug. Actually, we were hoping to pass through town. Nothing but desert past here. There's a treasure, but you'll get grit in your grunders. That's what here is for, your old town. Keeps the treasure safe from you. Watch it. Can't let you pass. See this little guy in my pocket? He's got something to tell you. Know what he says? Watch it. So give it up. Was it? Was it? Huh? You're the hero? Dumplings. If you were, you'd have a pixel that's shaped like a hand. If you had one, I might believe you're the hero, but you don't. Watch it. Well, I'm glad we found him already. Huh? You do? Of course you do. You're the hero. Knew it all along. <laughs> I'll give that green feller a call. He'll let you across. Hello, Green? It's me, watch it. He's like an Animal Crossing character. He has like the... the phrase Tourette's where he says it like... every other sentence. Watch it! I said watch it, not botch it. This hero feller wants to get across the bridge. Yes, I told him about the grit. Ah, yes, let's keep that between us. Just let the mustache guy go through. Just get off my rug and go talk to Green at the edge of town, watch it. Well, it looks like I can finally retire, because my job's done. When you're in that desert, keep a watchful eye out for some ruins. The treasure's there. Nasty beast, too. So watch it. Wow. I have uh, the feeling that this guy wants me to watch it. Why not do Sonic Boom Shattered Crystal 3DS in the next month? Well... I don't have a 3DS. So, it would make that a little difficult. And, oh, there's a catch card up there. I should, I should get that. Let's see, is there a way to... There we go. You got a Boom Boxer card. Speaking of Animal Crossing, are you still playing? Should I keep sending you items? Uh... I'm gonna keep playing it, but not as often. I didn't want to like get into the habit of having to play it every single day. That was kind of starting to feel like a chore. And I don't want to like... I don't know, I kind of have this OCD where like, oh I have to... I have to either like keep 
signing in, signing in every day and keep like keeping up with things. And if I I miss a day, it gets all stressful. Or if I'm about to miss a day, I have to like quickly sign in. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna miss on purpose, and then I'm just gonna play it like once in a while. So you you don't have to like send me stuff or anything. You don't have to worry about that. What was I gonna do? Oh, the card. That's right. We we found a boom boxer. I don't see him on the lit. There he is. Oh, we haven't even ran into this guy yet. This music maven will assault you with bowel busting bass. What's with the face it makes when it rocks out? Have you played Yoshi's Story? I've played Yoshi's Story, I rented it. There's talk of renaming the old town to Heroesburg. It's all because of this legend that the heroes will visit this town after saving the world. The heroes are coming here, can you even believe it? Maybe we should put up a sign. <laughs> yeah, everyone's just talking about the hero. No crossing, green, the bridge overseer. Well, I'll send you stuff I think you'd enjoy. If your bro plays more, I could send him stuff. It's always nice to get freebies. Yeah, it is. I wish I could, like, figure out more gifts to send people. I'm trying to... Maybe I should ask, like, what people need if they're looking for specific items. That'd probably be smart. Don't send Jay any items. They will only be pawned to Tomnik to repay his loan shark. Well, everyone's in debt to Tom Nook, so it's not just me. I got a call from the old man, watch it. So you're that hero guy then, huh? Right on, I'll put the bridge across for you straight away. Oh, I didn't even have to answer the, the question about which color was more manly. Those NPCs creep me up. Mind if I ask you a question? Red or green, what's better? Well, I'm gonna tell him green because he's the green guy. Hey, you're wearing red. I'm onto your alive, buddy. Oh my god, he beat me up. You know, I think you're supposed to tell him both, actually. I, I think I remember telling him both. But, uh, let's see if they, they give me another chance here. He was really upset about that. Like, I betrayed him. My house, why are you in it? Why don't you help yourself right out the front door, eh? You're here, whoopee. It doesn't mean I've got to look at your gaudy clothes. Jeez, dude. The the red and green boys do not like each other. What is this? Oh yeah, the green bridge. That's a nice bridge. Anything else over here? All right, look at that. Another end of end of the sub chapter. I'm, I'm gonna try to at least complete the first chapter by the end of this stream. I don't remember how long they are. It doesn't seem like they'll take too long. With a bold quiver of his magnificent mustache, Mario let loose a hearty sneeze. A single grain of sand had flown along the warm wind and tickled the hero's nose. It wasn't long before Mario and Tippy found the source of the sand, the Yold Desert. Along the endless sun-baked expanse, Mario and Tippy continued their search. Chapter 1-3. See, I can't remember... I want to say there's like four sub-chapters per chapter, but I don't remember exactly, so... Didn't old man watch it say something about there being some ruins around here? The pure heart can't be that far now. We'd better not waste any time. Mario's mustache gives me the vapors. 
says Rag. Well, it is a pretty fine mustache. Oh, look at that. Get rid of these guys first. You know, we have so many items. We could totally... Whoop. That guy almost got... Oh, I wasted some of those, though. See, that, that, that shows you what I was talking about earlier, though. If you take out blocks in the 2D dimension... Whoa. Oh, we're gonna get triple points. And I leveled up at the same time. So let's try to take care of some enemies. Oh! Damn it, okay. Any more enemies? That's a bold cleft. You might confuse this rock hard foe with a rock. Max HP is 2, attack 1, defense 2. Flames won't scorch this foe. Set off an explosion near it to flip it over, then it'll be vulnerable to attack. An explosion. Do I have any items that explode? You know what? The, um... This actually would have been... I should have gotten a POW block, because that would have worked on these guys. See if we could find something up here. There's a catch card. A squig. We keep finding cards for characters that we have yet to see. Oh, that's right! Thank you, I completely forgot that I even had that ability. Thanks for reminding me. What else can I grab? I haven't even been using it. Yeah, Rag, Rag suggested I throw... Okay, these guys are new. Can I grab you? Sure can. Boom! And we got a fresh veggie. Isn't that nice? See if there's any secrets in here. Nope. Whoa, it's a big boy. I don't think we could grab him, he's too big. Let's point at him. This dragon like monster is a jawless, so they tend to bite anything near them. Max HP is 5, attack is 1. Its only weakness is the glowing spot on its back. It won't look behind, so try flipping the 3D. Yep. Good idea. Boom. And look, we do 2 damage now, because we, we've been leveling up. Grab a coconut. Yeah, I was trying to do that. <laughs> Alright, I think there was one rock guy in the 3D, yep. Oh, he doesn't land on his back though. You have to actually hit them with each other. Okay. There's gotta be another rock around here somewhere. Over there. Oh, 
Okay, I was seeing... What the heck is this guy, actually? Let's see. That's a turbo. It's a nasty gas bag that spews a plume of sleepy gas. Max HP 5 attack 2. That gas will put you to sleep, so don't go sniffing it. Some say the gas comes from their mouths. Some say it comes from elsewhere. Oh dear. Yeah, this guy must be vanquished. Whoops, we missed. Oh no. There we go. Oh, these Goombas will follow you. That's what the boxes mean. See? I remember that. That's funny. I wonder if uh, Tippy tells you. It's Goomba when it bows his minions. Yeah, this one has the ability to flip between dimensions. But I hear Goombas do have their fans, so what can you do? While I like the 2D slash 3D gimmick, it sadly turns every screen into mandatory view swapping to not miss anything. That's a good point. Alright, so that's obviously the path we want to go to, so I'm going to go to the right first. To just see if there's any stuff over here. I I'm kind of being OCD about it too, I don't have to check every single place and you know I'm not gonna 100% this game or anything so I, I shouldn't be bothering that much but I it, it can definitely be annoying for people who want to just not miss anything I mean even back there there could have been something but it's fine we did find this path already was it right down here whoa the changing perspective is crazy yeah, it's it's pretty trippy. Also, hey Kiko. A floating booty monster. Nice. <laughs> yeah. Yep. What the hell is this? Why did I bring this guy with me? away. The old signpost. Find ye the tall red palm tree of fortune and leapeth under its branches ten times. Alright. We could do that. Can you throw enemies off the edge of the world? Uh, maybe. You probably can. Yes, Jay, throw your enemies into quicksand and watch as they sink to never resurface. <laughs> That's very sadistic. Alright, now where, where was that red palm tree? Was there one down here? I don't know if I could tell from this. Oh, I think that's it at the end. I saw an item. There we go. Oh, we have too much stuff. Okay, uh... I guess I'll eat something. Whoops. Well, I'll throw this. And then I will use this. I knew this was going to happen. I need to start using items more often. Oh, that's not even a red palm tree. I went the wrong way. Oh, is it not here? Mario is a true survival horror game with inventory management. Yep. Too bad there's no chests for you to leave your items. I could have sworn I remembered seeing a red palm tree on the way here. There it is. So I said jump ten times. Well, what do you know? It actually did something. 
Who would have thunk it? Got him. for a second. There's so many items. Let's uh, let's just take one of these shakes. We didn't need it too much, but we're... Wait, what am I doing? If I do this... Yep, I knew it. I knew it. See, it's all on the mind. How are we going to get up to that? Maybe you gotta like... Bounce this way and then... Hmm... Oh! Wait... What? Oh, I'm dumb. You just go up here. Okay, no, I don't... Oh. Oh, I have the throwing guy. I keep forgetting I have that partner. Whoops. Let's not miss that. There we go. Very tricky, challenging puzzles, AJ. Well, sometimes I can be a bit of a doofus. You know, it happens. But I can do this. That's pretty cool. What's going on up there? Look at that. Oh! Secret! Oh, I fell. You know what I just realized? You don't have a hammer in this game, at least not, not yet. I don't know if you get one though. I don't remember. Ah, oh, damn it. It's a little slippery. You kind of have this, like, inertia as you're going. Wait a minute. Ah, I see. What is that, a blue mushroom? Give me a bunch of XP, I guess. That's good. Oh, and it refilled my uh, my 3D gauge. Whoops. I had the jumping in, in... Okay. <laughs> jumping in 3D can be a little tricky sometimes. Because you're two-dimensional, but you're like in a three-dimensional plane suddenly. Googly. So you're the lad sticking his stashy in my boss's business. I don't like him referring to it as Mario's stashy. He just stomped the door away. You shouldn't have crossed the count. Now I'm gonna have to get chunky on ya. You. You're one of Count Black's thugs, aren't you? Oh, Chunks is my name. And I'm no common thug lass. I thug for the Count of Counts, Count Bleck himself. I don't like his accent. One word from the Blecky boy and I'm come... Ugh. Ugh. Homage? Hamage? Oh, make that damage. 
It was hard enough to read your text without you screwing words up. Uh, not that it matters, a pinch of stew and a handstorm, you're a goner. Do you even know what Count Black is trying to do? Duh. My boy's using powers and whatnot to bring back some order to the world. An enemy of Black is an enemy of mine. They're gonna get chunked. I don't want to get chunked. This old chunks is a lot scarier than the other enemies we've faced so far. Maybe you should use my power to investigate him when we start the battle. Well, that's a good tip. Enough is enough already. It's time to thunder down from my on high and deliver a beating of the ages. Mario Stashy make me rashy. Ugh. Don't say that. Who needs a hammer when you can smash your sentient hand partner into enemies instead? I think it's pronounced Stash. That's how I say it anyway. Boss fight. Alright, here we go. Whoop! Whoa! Thank god that happened because I didn't realize that the cutscene ended. Alright, let's investigate this guy. That's so chunks. He's a big bearded warrior of a man. Max HP is 20 and attacks is 1. Uh, he can grab you by your feet and hurl you. If you're in reach, he'll toss you, so keep your distance. But you can turn the tables on him and use Thorough to send him flying. Cool, I was about to try that out. Can I combo him? Oh, damn, you freaking threw me. Jesus. I like how after all that, he did one damage. Like, calm down, dude. Okay, you gotta make him dizzy. And then... Then we could get him. I'm trying to see if I could, like, get more than one jump at a time, though. I have items too, do I have anything that could deal damage? Let's see if this works. Take this! What? Oh! I just summoned a shell. At least it's hitting him. Okay, he's gotta be almost dead by now. Whoops. There we go. I'm chunked. I just beat Chunk from the Goonies. This is him grown up. My Chunks, you failed me. I got pummeled and you barely sweat your brow. What kind of strange little man are you? Oi, what kind of strange little man are you? See, that's the voice he probably would sound like, but I don't want to have to do that voice for, like, 20 pages of dialogue. Uh, this strange little man is none other than the legendary hero, Mario. Maria, eh? Tis an odd name, yeah, but you can bet your baby I'll remember that. You can bet your baby, huh. His name's not Maria, it's Mario. You remembered this, Maria. If you didn't look like such a wee toddler, I wouldn't have taken it so easy on you. But uh, I'll have to give it up for you for effort, so let's call it a tie. You better get some chunks of your own for next time, though. What is he talking about? And while you're at it, why don't you wax that bony stash of yours, Maria? Or Bonnie? Till we meet again. Chunks away. Okay, okay, chunks away, and then he farts rockets into the sky. I don't think Miyamoto uh, designed this character. I have a, a an inkling. Did you understand a word of what that goon was saying? Nope. The legendary hero isn't that Link's title. Link is the hero of time, I think, or the the Ocarina of Time one is. This was a nice dream. Oh, this dream was a nice distraction from the pain, but it's getting back to me. I'll see you soon. All right, I'll catch you later, dude. Thanks for, for dropping in. Sorry that the game, you know, might not be what you were expecting, but, you know, at least you got to see what it was like. All 
Where am I going? Hang on, I didn't even look at anything down here. Oh, that's- that is like the whole room. Oh my god. Let's see, we got anything going on over here? Yeah, the blue enemy does look very sus. He farts like Wario. Yep. Wait, is that where I came from? I should have been paying attention better. Yeah, there was like another... I don't know. This looks different, I guess. Okay, this looks like a ruins. I prefer N64 Paper Mario. Yeah, that's probably my favorite one. Oh, you know what? We had to go through that other door first, and it would probably tell you what to do here, I'm guessing. The true RPG protagonist goes the right way and nearly saves a day, turns back to find bonus loot. The world can wait. <laughs> yeah. I think I just did the, uh... I accidentally skipped to like the next thing you're supposed to do. I need to stop doing that though where I'm like, oh, I don't want to miss something. Let's see. Perch it the atop the distant platform of blue and the following is for the eyes of the hero only. Gaze ye at the side of this side uh, signpost, okay? Press the minus and one button at the same time to make something of interest happen. Ah, see I never would have guessed that. The minus and the one button. Why is Paper Mario also in his little non-mushroom mode? Um... I think it's just, that's just his normal size in this game. Cause Bowser is like a lot smaller in this game compared to other Mario games too. Everything's just smaller and more cutesy. It's like a chibi, it's like in an anime when a character like suddenly turns into like a baby version of themselves. Yeah, because he's kawaii, basically. All right, so I press one and minus at the same time. Wait, I was pressing two, because I forgot. I forgot how to read buttons. All right, look at that. So I think I'm, I was right. I think there is one more sub-chapter after this one we just finished. Do you want to save your progress? Yup. I sure do. Somehow Mario had found the strength to cross the desert's sweltering dunes. Ahead was a sprawling complex of ruins rising out of the sand. Thankful for the shade, Mario and Tippy ventured deeper inside. They were the very ruins Old Man Watchet had warned them about. What dangers lurked in the shady corridors ahead? I thought they were going to say something else. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Monster of the Ruins. Oh boy. I can he feel it calling, the pure heart is nearby. But wait, I sent something else emanating from the sand dunes. Be careful now, Mario. Something else is waiting for us ahead. Oh, I sense the, the presence of an enemy stand.
Jay, I fear Red Dead 2 is going to take over my life. It's so sick. It's the most cinematic game I've ever played. Dude, yeah. I mean, there's a reason why it was so big for a while. It's like GTA 5 except Cowboys. And there's like so much to do too, right? Because you just go around and just do whatever you want. Like if you don't want to follow the main story, you could just... You can just go around hog tying people. Hmm. Which door do I go through first? Whoops. There we go. Oh. There's nothing up here. Or is there? <clears throat> I said, or is there? Nope, there's nothing. That's an easy way to skip the fire. Like, you don't want to do the platforming. You could just be like, eh, I don't want to deal with it. The fire does not exist in my plane of existence anymore. No mention of Mario stash in this text, shame. Yeah, like every chapter is like, mentions Mario's mustache. Uh, dude, yes, and you can hunt wolves and stuff, crazy. That is pretty crazy. Look, I could just do this. What is that? change the blocks dimensions. Open world games do that to me. I spend like 150 hours in Skyrim and Fallout 4 and never beat either and want to replay them again since I've done so much random stuff I can't go back to the save. You never see Mario climb ladders usually. That's funny. Well, not like in the other Paper Mario games. We got the Ruins Key. LOL, the obstacles don't even exist in the 3D mode. Yeah. Sometimes you have to use that to like get around certain things or... Like, see a path that you didn't know was there. The only thing with the 3D mode is you can't use it forever. Like, there's a, a bar, a meter up in the top left. Um, and if it runs out all the way, then you start to lose health. Like up here, I actually, I bet you, let me get these first. I bet you up here, there's something. Oh, never mind. <laughs> they got me good. On this side. Oh, I can't even see myself. Okay, never mind. Oh, damn. I know what to do here. <laughs> like, they thought I wouldn't figure it out, isn't that funny? They really thought that I wasn't gonna figure that out. Can I? Oh, that's where they're coming out of. I was wondering what that pipe was there for. Alright, what happened out here? Hmm. 
Oh, that's still locked. Ah. So there was something there, I just couldn't get to it. Wait. Oh, I'm dumb. I keep forgetting, I have this guy that can grab stuff. There we go. Simple as that. Damn it. So how's the uh, the music coming, Kiko? So you said next time you're going to like start on a on a song, and then start streaming like once the song's already been started, so that way you can just like get into it easier, right? Look at that invisible block. <laughs> oh, banana. They should just play that sound clip in any Nintendo game. Is that thing following you, Navi? Pretty much. If I point at anything... Like, they'll tell me about it. That's a fire bar. Don't touch it or you'll get burned. And then I can also see, like, invisible things. over here. Up. Oh look, secret path. I would totally miss that. And let's see if we could throw enemies off like you were saying. Nope. Well, actually... No, okay. Well, that might just be a wall though. Before we were, like, outside. You got a Buzzy Beetle card. Sick. Let's see here. This little guy is built to withstand anything. Even a Mooth Stampede wouldn't flatten it. What's a Mooth? Probably. A Squig. This nasty little guy needs to learn some manners. It spits rocks at people, honestly, who does that? Well, that is pretty rude, I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. Whoa! Okay, I'm just gonna get out of there. Uh... Yeah, that's the plan, although to be honest, I think I am music depressed, like my music health bar has depleted. Damn. You need some, like, inspiration. You need to make a Red Dead Redemption song. Whoa. Just like the original Super Mario Bros. NES Fireballs. Yeah, they did look like that, huh? Wait, what am I doing? Obviously. Oh, never mind. Maybe there's something over here. Maybe there's something in three. Yup, there it is. Trying to get back in the zone to do content can be nasty. I had another several month video procrastination myself until just... Yep, it happens. I still I still need to do another edited video, like a review. Um, a lot of it really is the hardest part is getting started. Oh, Jesus. Can we... Okay. Wait, do I want to get out of here? They keep coming. That's terrifying. Christ. And then they all perished. The end. Oh, 
Wait. But where do I go now? Do I just go down there with them? Or did that button do- oh. Maybe something happened down here, let's see. Oh, I think I know, okay. We should be able to just drop down right here. Yep! <laughs> they filled up <laughs> the pit. And now I could go through this door. Oh, this is a puzzle. Let me guess, there's gonna be numbers on the side of the blocks that we can only see in 3D. Mm-hmm. That's pretty clever. It's weird because this level... Nice. Oh, am I, am I about to fight a boss? Because there's a save point, I just got a blue mushroom. Maybe we're at the boss. Look at that, the camera's all zoomed out. This is definitely boss time. Anything over here? Oh boy, here we go. The music's so happy though. Maybe there won't be a boss. Maybe I'll just... Oh, warning. Oh boy, look at this guy. Intrusion detected. Leave immediately or be purged. Wait, scan in initialized. Red cap detected, blue overalls detected, level 5 mustache detected. Incredible. Possible subject identification. But it's impossible. Hold your position, searching databanks. It's over 9,000. Wait, that sound effect sounded like the weed trying to connect to the internet. I recognize that. Search complete, one positive match. System overload, legendary hero identified. Forgive me, hero, I am called Fractel. My only purpose is to defend the pure heart from lawless intruders. You are late, I have waited thousands of years for your arrival. You may pass, the pure heart is just ahead. Haha, <laughs> it won't be that easy, oh no. Who speaks? Uh-oh. So, so very nice to meet you. And your mustache. Oh, here comes the mustache. I am Count Black's master of dimensions, the pleaser of crowds. I am Dementio. Remember the name well. Uh, he, he likes Mario's mustache just as much as Rag does. I know you, you're that... It would be so very dull if your journey ended so easily. Instead, it ends with magic. Whoopee! Magic! Buzzard. Alright, much better. Now you and this robotic guardian can spend some quality time. Quality snack time! And he's, the snacks are you. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh no. What did he do? Beep. I am error. Dude, that's a Zelda 2 reference. I am error. That's actually pretty sick they put that in there. Press any key to restart. System not found. Insert install disk. Disk not found, please. I, oh my god. I can't. <laughs> this is too much. You lost everything. Way to go, genius. Four for computer hamsters. Jelly roll one detonation imminent. Wow. Uh. Beep a blip bloop. This is some uh, programmer stuff. I mean, if you guys, anyone out there, control out the lead, who knows what that means? 
when are you switching to Mixer? Is Mixer like a like a, a Twitch YouTube alternative? Oh, boss fight. Right. I forgot. Um Oh boy. Oh lord, here he comes. Dude, that's a Japanese style dragon right there. That's Shenron. Can we jump on him? No, he is way too big to be jumped on. Alright, we need to figure out something. Do I see something up there? Hmm. I'm just gonna hide right here. It's going to fly in from the right. I can sense it. You should flip back in a 3D. Oh, that's right. I completely forgot that I had this. Oh, here's where I jump on him. There we go. Had the right idea. Jesus, what the hell? What are these guys? That's a Frackle. These little defense bots protect Fractal's body. Okay. They must have been made by the ancients, just like Fractal. Oh, I know what to do. We gotta throw one of these guys. Boom! Boom! In fact, can we, uh... That's Fractal, the robotic guardian of the pure heart. It's quite enormous. Max HP question marks. Oh, that's not good. Alright. I was hoping it would tell us how much health he had. Oh, here we go. We're about to fall off, probably. No. Oh. Ah. Uh, we almost made it, but I goofed. Yeah, he has very tiny claws for how big he is. It's like a T-Rex. Except in dragon snake form. I wonder... Okay, you can't really get onto him until he's coming from the side, I guess. Alright, we just gotta wait for him. Is he coming? Alright, here he comes. Oh, here he comes. He's a... Italian eater. Look out, he'll chew your stash up. That's my Weird Al parody, guys. But specifically about Super Paper Mario. Alright, here we go. So let's try to make the jump this time. Oh, we go, we're sliding down. There we go. Oh, damn it! I didn't jump in time. I swear I hit the jump button, guys. Didn't work. Darn wireless controllers and your your point two seconds of input delay. I wish we could hop onto him from right here. That'd be sick, but you can't. It looks like. It's kind of cool because it's it's not just a dragon, but it's a robot. Like, ancient robot guardian dragon. Like, it could have just been a dragon, but they had to add in that little extra, you know? These little guys that come out of him are kind of gross, though, because it reminds me of, like, fleas or something. System crash. I have malfunctioned. What have I done? Hero, the error is mine. I'm sorry. Shame circuit smoldering. Please, you must save our world. This, the iconic boss of the game, it's the one I remember the most whenever I think of this game. Well, probably because it's the first boss and like the fact that you like fly on top of him and stuff.
Hey, and we leveled up. We got more health now. We're getting health pretty quickly, that's pretty cool. Nice, we did it. Welcome hero, my name is Merlumina. That's an interesting name. I am a dormant soul. I have waited long to give you the pure heart. Yes, I have been waiting for 1500 years. They just had to make it longer than the thousand year door by 500 years. They had to one up it. Your presence here must mean that all worlds have begun to collapse. Yes, they have, in fact. That's why we're here. Before I give you the pure heart, you and I must speak. Listen well, hero. Long, long ago, my people built a civilization held as a beacon of culture. Sadly, despite our power, there was one thing we were powerless to stop. The Dark Prognosticus. Nobody knows who authored the dark book. It foretold the events of the future. On the last page, it was written that a chaotic power would devour the world. We knew it had to be stopped. Our greatest minds devised a grand plan to stop the tragedy before it happened. We needed something with the pure essence of love to confront this chaos. Researchers set to work and they created the Purity Heart. We divided the Purity Heart into eight pieces and hid them in different dimensions. We hid them for their own protection, waiting for the day the hero would arrive. Everything was going as planned, or so it seemed. But the wheels of destiny began to spin wildly out of control. It began with a very small incident. At that time I was a young I was young and quite beautiful. Ah. It started the day I met two very fetching young men. Mario and Luigi. And you see, my life set sail toward a maelstrom of love. You see, I asked one out, but however it was basically Oh my god. She's just blabbering on. Oh, there we go. Uh, to save all worlds, we must find the eight pure hearts that form the purity heart. Mario fell asleep. They all fell asleep. It was horrible. And that is all I have to say on that matter. What is she, Forrest Gump? And that's all I gotta say about that. Lieutenant Diane. Were you listening carefully? Yeah, totally. Excellent. I did tell the short version, so I wasn't sure if you would fully understand. It is up to you to find the pure hearts, for they are our last and only hope. Go forth, hero, and save worlds. We are all depending on you. Wow, sounds like an epic story. Sounds like an epic story that doesn't sound like any other story about gathering items to stop a great evil. You got a pure heart. Well, thank you. That's a very nice compliment. End of chapter. Before disappearing, Merlumina had entrusted Mario to save every world. She had waited 1500 years to deliver the message to the legendary hero. With the second pure heart in hand, Mario was in great spirits. But six pure hearts still remained to be found, and the journey had just begun. With a flutter, Tippy said, I think we'd better return to Flipside. The weight of every world's fate once again rested on Mario's shoulders. We did it. We did one chapter, and it only took us a little over two hours. That's not bad. If we can do like one chapter a stream, then it shouldn't take too long. Yeah, so I guess the hero went ahead and stomped you and sent you back here. You gotta forgive me, Count. I felled you. I've never felt less chunky in me life. Bless. So our hero is real, yes. A force to be reckoned with. Nast uh, Nastasia. Uh, the prophecy. Consult it and learn where the hero will go next. We will lay a devious trap for him and bring him to his very knees. Yeah, the butterfly sleeping on the hat's a good detail. 
Uh, I already sent Mimi to a site picked for that purpose. This pleases Count Black. Excellent work. I have granted Mimi powers potent enough to ensure that she will obliterate this hero. Yes, he will be helpless against her. I depart. Alert Count Black when this hero is no more. Almost like a no more hero. Get it? <laughs> Yeah, I'll fire off a memo on that, but for now we have another item on the agenda. Oh, Chunks, you got a sec? Yeah, some minions in, in the Bowser organization are still resisting assimilation. So I'm heading out to squash the resistance, and while I'm gone, I want you to stay here. Yeah, you just sit tight and think about your recent job performance, okay? Dude, I'm telling you, she's the guy from Office Space. Yeah, we're gonna have to confiscate your, your, the stapler. Oh uh, god, that, this really tweaks my chin hairs. <laughs> this guy says things that no one would ever say. It's ridiculous. <clears throat> Man, I'm starting to, uh, kind of lose my voice. There's, there's so much reading in this game. Hmm. Oh, do you- oh, I forgot about this. How did I end up napping here? Wait, didn't that nasty Count Black try to make me marry Bowser? And then Luigi? Luigi? Bowser? Anybody there? She's so desperate she's calling for Bowser. Oh no, no, you're the only one of the wedding party left standing it looks like. So you finally woke up, huh, princess? Oh, you guys. Are you alright? Yeah, but who knows what happened. That was one crazy wedding. We can't even find his groominess. You remember King Bowser? Oh, and that guy with the mustache. I think he had a green tux on or something. Um, Luigi? That's the guy. Well, we don't know where he ended up either. Thing is, most of us minions got all brainwashed by that black guy's assistant. Yeah, everybody's half nuts. It's not safe here. We've got to clear this area now. Private Koopa here will escort you, okay? You guys make a break for it. But what about you? What am I going to do? Uh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to help my men. King Bowser would burn me to a crisp if I left him. These guys are like the clone troopers in, uh, in the, the Clone Wars... Uh, Star Wars Clone Wars cartoon. Where normally they're just like seen as like these faceless drones that just get killed off like nothing. But then you have the ones in the cartoon that actually like have personalities and like care about each other. Good luck out there, princess. Hell Bowser. <laughs> Farewell. Okay, lady, we gotta evac this zone. Let's roll. Look at that. She can float. She can float. I guess I'll do this part real quick and then we can uh, probably end it. <clears throat> Count Black is a great villain. I wish he's in the next Paper Mario game, says uh, Rix. You, give up. There's no hope for escape. All hell the glorious Count. Do not resist. Submit to his rule. You'll love it. What the hell? These Koopas are just betraying. What's this insubordination, Johnson? I am your captain. Drop and give me 20. Yeah, you know what? I'm gonna have to tell you that your orders mean nothing. See, they've already sworn eternal allegiance to Count Black, okay? And now you need to as well, so I'll just go ahead and pencil you in for a 10 o'clock brainwashing. You just messed with the wrong Koopa. I serve Bowser. You tell this Count... Oh boy, she's brainwashing them. Hell black. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, see there, isn't that better? So listen, there's still a few problem minions that haven't sworn allegiance. You be a lamb and round them up for me, okay? Thanks. Yes, ma'am. Uh, 
When Mario goes 3D, do other characters see him disappear? Yeah, yeah, they do see him disappear. Oh man, this is going downhill fast. Did you see that? They even broke the captain. Look, lady, if they find us, it's game over. <laughs> Get it? We gotta clear this area stat. I love how Bowser loves being the antagonist so much he fights other antagonists to be the main antagonist in some games. Yeah. Bowser's a good guy. Let's go down here. This looks safe. I can already tell this place is going to be difficult to navigate. Everything kind of looks the same. Oh. Can't go this way. No, oh, it's a dead end. Well, staying here won't do us any good. Let's turn around and keep looking. Oh, turn back? Yeah, no. Your friend here had it right. This is your dead end. Can't say that. Oh boy. Who are you anyway? Fine cover, lady. I'm trained to handle scum like this. And... There he goes to. Oh! He turned evil. He's got the sunglasses. All hell count black. Wow, princess. You sure are lucky. I thought the wedding explosion finished you. Yeah, but this is the end of the road and your luck ends out right here. It's time you came on over and got with the program. Come and serve the Count. Never. Yeah, that's great and all, but my hypno powers kinda say otherwise. Just sit tight a sec, okay? Cause I've just got to brainwash you real quick. <laughs> she's, <laughs> she's pouting about it. Wait a minute, what's going on? <gasps> Somebody saved her. That wasn't on my schedule, where'd she go? Dude, who saved Princess Peach? Well, it's not really a deal breaker. Our prophecy fulfillment plan is running smoothly. We have no need for her. Yeah, and it doesn't matter where she runs since all worlds are about to fall. So, if Princess Peach married Bowser in Odyssey, would the same thing start to happen? I remember that day well. The room was warm. The whole place was at peace. Ugh. You're awake at last. Where am I? A human's home? Don't wiggle like that. I found you at the cliff base. You took quite a fall. You're a human, correct? I don't repulse you? I am of the tribe of darkness. Is this Peach? Why would that matter? Anyone with a heart would not ignore an injured soul. That was the day our paths crossed. That day. That was the day our tragedy was set in motion. What? What is the side story going on? I don't remember. Okay, look at that. I don't remember it saying the end of chapter, but I guess we're, we're done now. If you get a pure heart, you can choose to visit specific sections in each chapter. Cool. Alright, well now we can save it and we can call it a night because my... My voice is starting to go. That's gonna be kind of rough. <clears throat> I might have to start skipping lines or something. Yeah. But fun game. It's it's still pr about as fun as I remember. I still prefer the old turn-based style. Oh, there's Merlin. But this game is still fun as well. It's like its own thing, basically. If Nintendo makes another Paper Mario that's in the style of the first two though, that would be amazing. I would be really excited about that. I can see from your faces that it went well. Let's head back to my house so you can tell the details. Cool, now I could save without having to talk to him more. Considering that game where you're controlling Peach's emotions, seeing her scowl like that is a warning sign you don't want to mess with her. I forgot about that. It was like a handheld Peach game. And all of her abilities had to do with her, like, her emotions. 
which people could jokingly say were mood swings. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's save. Cool. So that, that was the first chapter of Paper Mario, Super Paper Mario. And uh, it's still it's still pretty fun. There's definitely like playing it again. There's there's definitely some things here and there. It seems like this one is going for a more simplistic style when it comes to like the characters and stuff. I remember hearing something about like Nintendo told the developers of Paper Mario to stop using like like more unique versions of characters, like enemies and stuff. So if you notice, like all the different like Toads and Koopas and Goombas kind of just look the same. Whereas like in Thousand Year Door and like the first one, there seemed like there was more varieties of them. So in this game, they're using like these different, like these geometric style people, which is, is fine because you know, it's, it's like its own thing. But at the same time, it is a little weird uh, comparing it to the other ones. But, uh, it's still a fun game. It's very different. I know, I can see why some people wouldn't like it as much. There are rumors that Nintendo's making another Paper Mario in the style of the first two games, which I would be really, really hyped for. Hopefully that ends up being true. But anyways, I think that's good for today. We had some fun. Thanks everyone for joining. Doesn't Bowser treat Peach very well? He, I think he tries to, but he's also a very greedy, selfish, like, tyrant. He also wants to, like, rule the Mushroom Kingdom and all that. The geometric people don't even look Mario-themed. It's, it's a very different thing. I guess it's because they're in a different dimension, is the excuse. But, uh... Yeah, that'll be it. Thanks everyone for watching, sleep well, have a good night, and I'll catch you guys all later.